Hello everyone. Thank you to all the subscribers, and the subscribers that have returned back to the channel. You are all amazing, and thank you so much for your support. If you are watching this video, and you have not subscribed, please I ask you to subscribe. It is free, and you are supporting me. Thank you. Today we are off to China. You know how the Chinese are becoming the masters of engineering practically around the world. I thought it best to check out one of their major projects like the Yashi Highway. This is an incredible feat of engineering. Very pleasing to look and marvel at. You bet you will love to visit China. This is one of China's finest best known road. The Yanxichang Expressway, Yashi Highway, part of the Beijing Kaming Expressway, connects the city of Yan to the city of Xichang in the southwestern province of Sichuan. It is nicknamed the Highway in the Clouds because it rises 7.5 meters per kilometer, and it because of its imposing infrastructure. Yashi Highway is linking Yan in Sichuan province and Xichang, capital of Liangshan E Autonomous Prefecture. This passes through the sacred Lugu Lake. This highway is located in southwest China's Sichuan province. This 240 kilometer long expressway is part of the G5 Jinkuan Highway in Sichuan province. It starts at the edge of Sichuan and runs to the Hungduan Mountains, crossing the Qingyi, Dadu, and Anning rivers, as well as other river systems and 12 seismic fault zones, and stretching through high mountains, overlying mountains, and hazardous terrain. The area along the route rises from 600 meters to 3,200 meters above sea level. This road is essentially a combination of some super viaducts and some super long tunnels, and there is not flat terrain. There are 25 tunnels with a length of about 41 kilometers, 25.5 miles, including two extra long tunnels and 16 long tunnels. This is an amazing and impressive piece of engineering marvel. The Yashi Expressway is not just a road. It is an experience offering breathtaking views, and a unique driving adventure through some of China's most beautiful landscapes. This is a ladder to the Sky Road. The road snakes through spectacular scenery of the area. The road spans across a highly intense earthquake region. Its construction started in 2007, and it opened in April 2012, at the cost of $3 billion. The workers had to, to overcome extraordinary challenges, such as natural gas, water jets, faults and cracks in the rocks. Just imagine of the person who came with the initial idea. This is truly thinking outside the box. This thing is 149 miles long. It runs through a mountainous region. Here are some of the highlights. This road is nicknamed Highway in the Clouds due to its high altitude and stunning scenery. This beauty rises from 600 meters to 3,200 meters above sea level. The construction began in 2007 and was completed in April 2012 at the cost of approximately 20.6 billion yuan. That is about $3 billion. This expressway includes 270 viaducts and 25 tunnels, with a total tunnel length of about 41 meters. It also crosses several rivers and seismic fault zones one. The turnabout in the UK, we would call that a U-turn. Let us carry on. The turnaround was built because they could only put an off-ramp to an exit on one side of the highway, so traffic coming in the other direction has no exit. In order to take that exit, they had to keep on driving and use this turnabout to go back in the opposite direction and then be able to access the off-ramp. Now that turnaround to get to the exit is something else. In my opinion, someone was definitely thinking outside the box. Again, in my opinion, the turnabout is there as a last opportunity to turn around before you are committed to the long span with no exits whatsoever. You would have to keep driving in the knowledge that the final destination is the valley below. I am almost sure all of us in the West can only marvel at the Chinese demanding and outstanding construction. China deserves credit and admiration as it develops day by day and contributes to the advancement of the world by investing projects in many countries. We have all seen what they are doing in Africa and other developing countries. We are all aware how the Western governments are particularly not happy with the Chinese expansion and investment in the developing world. Also, China does not have strings attached like the way does. The Western world always have the belief that they have to supervise whoever they help. The construction from China is world famous. China has better expertise and technology has proven to the world their work and worth. Another of China's famous constructions is their high-speed railway. Chinese trains are very famous and are largest railway lines in the world. With its capabilities, China has made many countries trust Chinese construction. Hence, many countries have collaborated with China to build railway lines, hydropower dams and roads in their countries. When I see what China is performing, and then I look at what is happening in the UK, my heart sinks. The engineering in China speaks for itself. 
What good does a patent or intellectual property on the bridge do for anyone except the patent holder and the company that owns it? Meanwhile, China just gets stuck in and actually builds these things that enable their entire country and its workforce to travel. I am not here to bash my country. In the UK, they will not even attempt half of these projects. While China dominates mega constructions. In the UK, we love to procrastinate and inflate contracts to line the pockets of management. Chinese just get it on with it. It is impossible to not be in awe of the Chinese achievements, unless you are just plainly jingoistic. China has even replaced bicycles with EVs. Britain is concerned about national security, individualism, then nation building. We talk about German engineering and ingenuity. In the next century, made in China will mean organization, discipline, and resilience. Remember, the Great Wall of China is still standing 2,000 years on and counting. When I look at the developments going on in China on display, I suddenly realize the corruption in my country, how the works are so delayed in the UK, whilst the costs continue to grow in millions. And no one in authority questions the almighty delays in this country. It seems like delays are expected and it is the norm. Quite unbelievably frustration. For instance, one lane on the A13 has been closed, and yet I do not see people working. How come? All contracted work takes months to finalize in Britain. And no one will complain. It's the norm. I believe the same happens in the US and Canada as well. If Trump hired the Chinese contractors to build the wall, that shit would be up dusted and running. Bravo to China. Regardless of your political views, the road system is well constructed. It looks incredible. The amazing feats, design, and planning done in an earthquake zone country. Fair play to the Chinese. They get things done. Bravo to China. This is a country striving for progress with no hesitation. Absolutely astounding. Meanwhile, the best Lewisham Council could do one year was give some of their lampposts a fresh coat of paint. In the UK, we are doomed. Yes, we are doomed. We are probably already. Just look at M25. There are sections that you worry about the damage on your tires. A single pothole in Britain takes months to be repaired. If your road has more than five potholes, be prepared to wait for years despite paying road tax and council tax. Just imagine how time turns tables. China was a nation that Imperial Britain once sold its own opium to buy force. But look where it is now. China is on world stage. China uses its own diplomatic efforts to grow not by invasions and resource monopolizing like in the West. We are literally in the Stone Age era compared to the Chinese. Our country needs to do something to lift the country for the better.